So I just uh, leaving Kanyakumari district out here uh, at Tripurakdu Falls. That's where I live. This whole district uh, was once upon a time full of uh, forest trees. Now you see it's all uh, a rubber plantation. Rubber is not native to India. I want the members and the patrons who have been helping, who have been, who have been supported. Uh, I want uh, to keep all of you updated as to what I am up to. So I'm starting this road trip uh, from uh, Kanyakumari to Mumbai along the west coast, Konkan coast, covering uh, a few major temples. Uh, we have had contacts with a few people. Trying to uh, get to know the different rituals and cultures that are existing in uh, different states. So the major temples that we are trying to cover is uh, Kolur, Mugambika, Mangalore, uh, Udupi, Kukke Subramanya, the, <coughs> basically the Sapta Kshetra. Uh, we are trying to, I am trying to cover that and uh, eventually uh, past in Goa also a few major temples uh, or few less known temples is what I am trying to do. Few people have been asking me in the comment section and also uh, through personal messages if they can join me on the trip either to Himalayas or any such place. I thought this would give an opportunity for people who are interested to know how I travel, what I do, how I explore places. If you would have noticed one thing, I never um, share uh, about my experience in detail in all these places because I want the viewers and whoever is watching this to go to these places and then experience it themselves. So the behind the scenes, um, ad hoc, whatever information that's available uh, will be posted for members only be very raw footages, whatever I'm capturing, little bit of information that's coming, all that I'll be sharing. Uh, and finally, when I come back and then start editing it, I'll post it in, in the public uh, domain. But otherwise, all these uh, glimpses and uh, behind the scenes. Yes. So all these uh, behind the scenes and uh, as I'm going traveling, almost uh, every day or every alternate day, I'm planning to post these videos. Uh, so if you are not a member, please go join this channel as a member, uh, either on the YouTube in the button or you can uh, join as a patron on Patreon as well and it will be available for those people also. Others, you can watch the edited version soon, within a month or two on the public platform, it will be available for everybody. I am excited for this trip because this is the first time I am starting documenting right from the beginning. There is a big influence of Kashmir Shaivism uh, from uh, Kerala, uh, Konkan coast and South Maharashtra. So I had always wanted to document it. I have visited those places, I have interacted with a few people there. Uh, this is the first time I will be documenting it. Uh, let's see if they are willing to share uh, things on camera. If they are, then we uh, will be lucky. Uh, of course, I'll use discretion as to what should be posted and what not to be. Because if these things can cause lots of uh, misunderstanding in people unless it's presented in the whole context of what this whole uh, Tantric ritual and Kashmir Shaivism, what the Trika system is. So let's see what whatever comes out, out of this. I'm sure it's going to be new thing for me also. The Sadhana Cave of Manavai Sindra is, uh, is the last mountain. Uh, in the Western Ghats, like if you watch it, if you see on the Google map, you see that the Western Ghats mountain ends at that Manavai Siddhar's place. This, wow, look at this. Paddy fields, rubber plantations, mountain. So this belt is also famous for their windmills, uh, because this is like a gateway. Once the mountains end here, so the whole wind speed picks up maximum momentum in these gaps. So you'll notice that uh, along this whole area. So once I cross Kanyakumari district, I will not uh, get this kind of mountains anywhere else. Except uh, if I'm going, going to Kodaikanal and uh, such areas. Otherwise, um, this is the stretch that you see these mountains and paddy fields. Till you go out of Kanyakumari district, after that, it's totally bad. You see, it's almost like desert kind of uh, situation. 
Kanyakumari district uh, has lots of uh, Siddhas and Saints who have lived here. The most prominent being Agastya Muni, of course. And uh, Agastya Kodam, all of the peacocks. Agastya Kodam is uh, very close to Kutte, where I live. She is the guardian deity of Kanyakumari district. Like when you enter, she is there at the border of Kanyakumari district. She, you can say she is like the folk deity of Kanyakumari district. We are reaching Lesakki Amman Koyal, Mopanda Lesakki. So, briefly, the vehicles halt here. And uh, have a darshan of Devi. Uh, we'll do that as well. So that's the Devi. So Chandan and Kumkum. Upanda Lesaki has an ancient temple and a new temple as well. Fridays, uh, Tuesdays are special for Devi's here. So as you are uh, driving along the highway uh, from Kanyakumari towards Madurai, Chennai, um, you'll have to take a U-turn. But here you'll see just on the highway, you'll see this board Om Sadguru Nadapir Koil Naduapatti. This is the birthplace of Sadhguru Sri Brahma. Just entering there. Just at the entrance of the village, on the right side, you see the Ganesha shrine. And Sadhguru's temple. It's the water tank underneath which he had attempted his first samadhi. This is the temple. Thank <laughs> you. 